So in this particular cluster that has just been announced today, a very important point is that uh, we were able to identify the source of the infection and to establish a clear chain of transmission among those affected. Uh, so what this means is that we're able to contain the infection uh, and to uh, take steps to prevent transmission to a wider number of uh, individuals in the community. Uh, the, uh, in the SARS epidemic in 2003, we also had a number of uh, such clusters, typically amongst families or close friends who had uh, come very closely together. And uh, we were able actually to, in 2003, identify the contacts and to be able to ring fence these clusters so as to uh, prevent further transmission to other unaffected individuals in the community. So this is quite different from widespread transmission where we are unable to identify where individuals who are infected caught the infections from and uh, that uh, therefore means that there could be uh, undetected ways in which transmission is occurring. Um, so we, are, we don't see this right now it is something we have to watch out very carefully for. But in the meantime, uh, it is uh, very important for us to uh, work on these clusters as we find them and to ring fence them. And also, as was covered in the press conference, for us to actively look for other clusters so that uh, we can take timely action when we find them.